Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Dex Lab Analytics and this is part 2 of MongoDB Basics. Now here again I'll teach you how to write basic queries or methods or functions of um, MongoDB or MQL. If you haven't watched my previous video, please click on the um, eye icon on the top right hand side corner of your screen so that you can be directed to those videos. Now without wasting any further time, let's move ahead to our MongoDB shell which is within the MongoDB compass. Now here again, I'll be opening my MongoDB uh, SH shell. My data is already connected to that. If you haven't watched that video as well, you'll be the link will be down below or in the eye icon on the top right hand side corner. So here I'm using uh, again. I'm playing on MongoDB um, SH beta, and I'm going to just extend that here. And here I'm just going to use use the um, sample geospatial database. So for that, I'm writing use sample underscore geospatial. And we are going to press enter. Once that is done, if you want to again check how many collections are there, you can go ahead and write uh, show collections and press enter. So we have only one collection that is shipwreck so let's call that and uh, start with one of the codes let's see first what we are going to do is first we want to check how my data looks like so for that I'm going to use or how my document looks like one of the documents look like so for that I'm going to use db dot shipwreck shipwreck dot find one okay we do not have anything here so let's go ahead and so here what i've done is instead of using the geospatial data i'm using show collections uh, uh, sample underscore airbnb data and again i'm using show collections here so we have only one collection that is listing and reviews so again we are going to use that and let's see what we get after writing show listing and reports this particular code dot find find one and press enter so we get a result all like this we have a lot of values in our first document now uh, to begin with let's try to change the um, listing url id or let's take this particular code let's copy this and we are going to change the uh, listing url id and write one two three in place of listing url id here we are going to change this particular data let's see how to change that and only we are going to do this for the first or the this particular uh, data itself so uh, let's see that but first we are going to remove this entire or clear this entire sheet so for that we have to go down click here and press etrl enter now let's use the first function that is update one so for that again using db dot listing and reviews and we can use update one function now what it does is that it only updates one document at a time so here I'm going to write the name of the column for which I want to change my data so name and what the value holds now with what value we want to update this data so let's say I want to update this with another value that is 
but before that I'm going to use this set dollar set 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 keyword and then again within that I'm going to change the value of listing URL underscore URL to one two three and I'll press enter since I have is since my query has already uh, been processed and we have no error that means we have we've been able to successfully change my data so again going to use find one then enter here you go we have our data here and we'll just check if my result has changed or not so here you go i have a listing url as 123 so update one changes only one document whereas update many instead of this particular document will change will change many documents now again just going to go to the bottom of this page and again clearing this entire sheet now let's change uh, let's use update many option so instead of writing one i'm using many here and pressing shift enter enter here again here we get there was i guess only one count of the data which has to be changed so we have this and that's that whenever you get you don't get any error that doesn't mean that you don't have a your data is not uh, processed it might be a situation where um, where you your there is some error in your query but still your data is this entire line has processed so you have to check and validate if your changes has been made in those particular data or not now you can do the same thing you can change your uh, you can delete the column as well or be not a document as well so if you want to delete a particular document what you can do is use either use either update instead of update use delete one or many similar to the above code all you want to do is just go ahead and select that and say listing I want to delete listing underscore URL where the data is one two three and it's running once the document is deleted you'll see the count so here the deleted count is one that means only one document has been deleted now you can use delete many as well in place of delete one uh, uh, so that multiple documents are deleted okay now i'm not going to delete all my documents here as it will um, cause um, my database to be deformed or uh, change my actual database so i'm not going to do that but let's talk about the logical operations now now for using logical operations i'm going to use uh, uh, operators i'm going to use the let's first clear this entire screen and i'm going to use sample training data sample underscore training and press enter now my data is changed now using the db again the same way in which i'm i was writing my queries companies dot find now if you want to use um yeah if you want to use condition based data or extract data on the basis of conditions you are going to use con logical operators here so uh, again here we have find i want to extract my data that is why and within that first i'm going to use the logical operator and so for that i'm using 
dollar sign and I want to extract a data in such a way that I get the column name as wet paint again in quotations wet paint and whichever company's um, company's name is wet paint they also should have the category code web so let's see if that works so i want to use a company with category code now you have to use commas instead so here i'm using comma okay one thing you have to remember that you have to write the conditions whichever conditions you are writing in square brackets that is we are trying to create an array of the entire condition so that we can add multiple conditions inside it so here i'm using again a square bracket to close my first square bracket and category underscore code should be web so again here you go just run that and we can extract this like that now here what is happening here is that we get the entire data set right so here i have category um, name as wet paint and if i go ahead and check my category code is web now what I can do is instead of uh, instead of doing uh, getting the entire code if I want to um, print instead of printing I want to see if this is running or not and how many result am I getting so what I can do is before that I'll just clean my screen and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write dot count here to see how many documents are we retrieving from that database so only one document with the category name uh, category code web and the name of the company wet paint now if i want to use or sign or means that uh, uh, any of the uh, conditions can be true so with that i can use db instead of this code i'm going to use within find i'm going to use quotations dollar or and square brackets square within which i am going to write name can be wet paint paint or the name can also be facebook so let's say name dot colon sorry facebook and i don't want the entire data i just want uh, the counts itself so i'm not going to press enter so that a lot list of documents i have i just want the count i want to see how many documents do we have so just press enter and we have two documents related to the name wet paint or facebook so either of the conditions can be true or both can be true so here both uh, uh, it can be uh, we get we can get two or more document or uh, documents with wet paint and facebook here as well so that is how you add logical operators in your uh, mongodb or mql shell so that's it for this video hope you like this video and uh, if you did then please click on the like I, uh, like button also subscribe us and click on the bell icon so that you are notified each time i upload my video um, if you want to contact us or if you want to learn more about dexlab or what we teach here so you can go ahead and uh, mail us at hello at the rate dexlabanalytics.com or you can also call us at the given uh, numbers on the screen um, we are currently placed in Gurgaon. Hope you have a nice day. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.